everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're on page eight of Blooming. Ciao, Bella Blooming. And we're gonna use this eight by eight sheet from the eight by eight collection. I'm gonna go back and make sure I'm doing this right side up. And I am. We're gonna place this as the base, and then we're gonna have this card that opens that has a little tuck spot in it for um, the topper here. So, yeah, sorry, I was stalling because I didn't know where I put my glue. I get mixed up when I put things up. Okay, coming to the end of this book. I hope everybody's enjoying it. And I, hope, um, I know some people really like that each page is different. Some people don't care that much. But um, I think that the Chow Bella and Stamperia collection sort of blend themselves to that um, and I wind up doing more complicated um, designs for graphic with repeats so it's kind of you know one or the other so I'm going to in my next graphic 45 project I'm going to try real hard to make each page different <clears throat> okay so you're going to need eight sorry Six by ten and three quarters. Six by ten and three quarters. You're going to score four and one eighth and eight and a quarter. Four and one eighth, eight and a quarter. We're going to um, create a little pocket here and it's going to close like this. So I put a magnet over here on the pocket and a magnet over here. And this is going to be our cover. So we're going to go ahead and decorate it and then we'll figure out how we're gonna place it on that base. <clears throat> I know this looks kind of plain to be the topper, but I have plans. Okay, it's nice and simple. I fussy cut this um, floral arrangement um, kind of at a diagonal, and then this square is gonna go over here in the corner, just like so. So I'm gonna place glue along the side and the bottom to create a little pocket or tuck spot. Just like so. This is one of the cut aparts. And honestly, I don't remember. I, I think this came from the eight by eight. So I, I picked these because they kind of have the same trim. And that is the insert for here. So that's gonna be the topper. And then on the inside, I chose this, which came from the patterns. And it is an extension. I just have to figure out which way it goes. <laughs> or did I get the wrong piece? I think I got the wrong piece. There's another, I've got a third piece. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Just got done organizing all my bits. And there it is. I organized it so well, I put it up. We all do that, I'm sure. So this is gonna go over the pocket, like so. <clears throat> I'm not doing uh, pocket flanges. I'm just gonna glue the two sides down flat. And because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my um, print paper down first and then glue it closed. Now, let's get this figured out. Is that it? That's it. And I like this print better, so it's gonna go here, and this is the one that's gonna be partially covered. Okay, it doesn't have to be this full size, it could be a smaller size, it just has to cover the back of the pocket. Now I'm gonna put a thin bead of glue on either side. 
and glue it shut and remember to keep it thin because as you push it, it's spreading, you know, toward the center. And you want to have as much, you know, space as you can. I've got some more of these cards that I'm going to place in the pocket. That's two of them right there. And I think I've got a couple more and even some larger ones. Our magnets here there we go so this is going to be placed here so now this is just about placement and I think I'm going to I'm going to line it up with that and expose some flowers on both sides like right there and that is a half inch from the bottom chance, double check the orientation. Okay, that's it. That's page eight. Yay. Okay, um, there's one thing left and that is to do the front and inside liner. So I'll have a video with that in just a few minutes. I'll get this uploaded. Thanks everybody for tuning in. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create.